also the Rissi Science Academy RAP C48, and this is our gravity vehicle. Launching it in three, two, one. Yes. Let's go. Oh my god, finally. That's one point five, bro. One point five. No, it's like one point. 1.6 yes sir 1.6 centimeters hello we are river city science academy team c48 i'm alex this is riley and we are presenting you our protein modeling video this is our model of the gene editing tool crispr cas9 and we created it using plastic tubers and the jmol program by restricting amino acids 31 through 145 each section represented by Separated by the white lines represents one residue and is two centimeters long. So overall, this is a tertiary structure and each one of these three yellow helixes represents the three right-handed helixes and this one yellow section represents the three base 10 helix. These five blue strands are the five beta strands and the flat section that they form represents the one beta sheet. These black sections represent the loops and this red cap is the N-terminal amino acid, and this blue cap represents the C-terminal amino acid. These plastic connectors represent the bonds in the structure, like the hydrogen bonds and the disulfide bonds. Okay, to continue, we can see a primary structure. That is the sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide chain. Some of our amino acids that we have are tyrosine, acpartic acid, and histocine. And those are represented by these Toothpicks on the Toothpick with the name of the amino acids. Now, secondary structure. Those fold within the polypeptide due to interactions between atoms of the backbone. We have a couple of secondary structures. First, in yellow are our alpha helices. In blue, our beta plated sheets. And in black, we have our loops. And a tertiary structure. That is the overall 3D, three-dimensional structure of a polypeptide due to primary interaction to our groups with amino acids. And that is what our model is. It is in the tertiary structure. Finally, our quaternary structure, which our model is not in, but multiple of our model would be a quaternary structure, is when multiple polypeptide chains are put together. River City Science Academy B24 mass drop vehicle measurements. And here we have our 40 centimeter or 40 centimeter box. And you can see the mouse trap vehicle fits inside of it. Now here we have our mouse trap part. It's 10 centimeters. And four and a half centimeters. And then here we have our dowel. This is one fourth inch dowel. And here we have our measurement with the dot right here. 
and it's 10.75 meters. River City Science Academy B24 Mousetrap. Three, two, one. River City Science Academy B6 Boom Lever. We're gonna weigh the boom lever and fourteen point two zero grams. Fourteen point eight. It's above the 20 centimeter line, and it's out of the 8 centimeter line because it's shaped. And um, since this is an official boomer lever testing platform, the J hook is the right measurements, and there's 15 kilograms of sand in here. It's longer than 40 centimeters, but less than 45 centimeters. Okay. That's not touching the ground. Mm -hmm. 
Shoes are also half an inch by eight, and they're 18 inches long, so if you can just do a climb in. The ladies get, get to block. <laughs> okay, Mr. Beta, right there. Yes. Let's it. Let's just turn it on first. Yeah, the big one. Mm -hmm. Okay, just wait. Okay, it is kilogram. zero kilogram right now. Fifteen eighty one. Right. This is River City Science Academy. Rats. Uh, C forty eight. Okay. Oh, detector building. Okay. This is our code. Oh wait, no. This is our code. Okay. So connecting the things. Here's our equation. And then the ranges for each of the LEDs. And then it ends. All right. So this is our thermometer, thermometer that we're using. And here's our device and the thermistor, the LEDs. And each of the temperatures, they're not accurate, but they're as close as we could have made it. OK, so we're going to start the code. We're gonna leave it in there for a few seconds to let it acclimate to the temperature. All I right. believe it's ready to go. All right, well, here's our slope and there's the white intercept. All right, so we're like One a whole off. degree off. And the blue LED is lit up like it should be. Okay. Wipe these off, sir. Oh, let me get one. All right, so now for the cool, yeah. which should be about 15 degrees Celsius. We'll let that acclimate for a few seconds. Okay, 11. Close enough. <laughs> I don't know. All right. About 11, we're about a degree off. When we did it, we were pretty accurate. But now it's 12. So let's run it again. Okay, we are a degree off. All right. We're a little, yeah, we're, we're but green LED, like it should be. Okay. Now for the warm. Yeah, it should be around 35. Again, we're just going to let it acclimate for a few seconds. All right. 28, around 28. All right. Again, around a degree off. And yellow is lit up like it should be. <coughs> Now for the hot, which should be around 50 degrees. It's 
unstable. Right. right. Round 46. Mm -hmm. We got a 46 in there. And it is so. mostly a degree off. But there was, oh god, there was a 46.8. 46. So, so we're about 0. 0.6 off. Yeah. And the red and LEDs off. Yep. Okay. We're done.